Hello people, welcome back to my channel. The topic for today's video is candidate elimination algorithm. So in the previous video, we saw what was the finders algorithm and some of the drawbacks which were caused due to the finders algorithm. So uh, candidate elimination is one such algorithm which will overcome the problem which was imposed by the finders algorithm. So uh, when we considered the finders algorithm, uh, it considered only the positive examples, but it does not consider any negative examples. So essentially candidate elimination will first consider both positive examples and negative examples. So this is the key point which uh, you must keep in mind when you deal with the candidate elimination algorithm. And second is that uh, you have a concept of something called as version space. So what are version spaces? This I have discussed in my uh, first video on concept learning. So I'll just put a link in the description so that you can check this out. So uh, just for an understanding what the version space is that you have certain set of hypothesis space. So let us call it as H. Now what candidate elimination algorithm will do that it will find all those instances which are consistent with the hypothesis space. So let's say X is one particular sample. So this is what the consistency means by according to this algorithm. Now, say for example, you have a hypothesis space. Now just take one particular concept, say iPhone. So this is a particular concept. Now you have uh, different versions of this uh, iPhones, say like you have 5s, 5c, 6s, 6s plus, 6s or 6, then you have 8, 8 plus, 7, 11, pro and many are there. Now what I do is I give a set of uh, training samples say which is D represented by D and now in this I just want only a certain set of uh, samples say I have uh, here 11 and 8, 8 plus and 7. Now what this uh, particular algorithm will do is it will just generate a subset of this hypothesis space which are called as the version space. So version spaces with respect to H that is hypothesis space and this sample D. Now we have requested for these many uh, instances. So this is our training set or the training sample. Now it will check whether all of this particular samples are there in this or not. So let's consider 11 plus. So it will have 11 plus then 8, 8 plus and 7. So now this particular thing is consistent with the version space. So this is essentially your version spaces. So it's a subset of your hypothesis space. And then what you need to remember in candidate elimination is that you have two major boundaries. So the one is called as specific boundary and denoted by S0 and then you have called as the general boundary. So whenever uh, you construct this particular algorithm, you will have the most uh, specific boundary at the top. So that will be S0. So which is uh, compressed of all fees we have seen in the finders algorithm. And then at the bottom you have all the general uh, hypothesis or which is the general boundary which is compressed of this question mark literal. Now whatever comes in between of these two, these are your version spaces. So it can be considered like a jar where you have uh, the bottom and the top and all of the items which are in between that becomes your version space. So this is the most specific and this is the general. So it goes from this way to this way. Specificity is towards the up and generalization is towards the down. Now uh, what I have said is you have to have observable instances which are consistent. Now consistent means uh, h of x is equal to c of x. So whatever you have in your training sample that must be there or that must be conformed to your uh, hypothesis space. And then there is another thing which is called as satisfiability or which satisfies. Now consistency and satisfies are two different things. Now satisfiability will check uh, whether a particular instance belongs to the hypothesis space or not. So it is like h of x is equal to 1. So regardless whether your x is a positive example or negative example, it will just ignore 
but it will check whether it belongs to uh, this particular hypothesis space or not and consistency means with your uh, training sample it should uh, be confirming to all those particular elements which are contained in that now what we have is this candidate elimination algorithm so we are considering this particular data set now to begin with uh, this algorithm is very simple so the finders algorithm you can see as a subset of uh, this so essentially the algorithm steps is something like this so first you create your or initialize your g0 and s0 which is the specific and the general boundaries and second is that for each positive example which you encounter you move from specific hypothesis to general hypothesis that is you have phi and you move from phi to question mark so that is 2.1 and 2.2 for each negative example you move from general hypothesis to specific hypothesis so it will consider both the positive and negative example uh, which was the major drawback of finders where we did not consider any negative examples now let's see how this algorithm is particularly worked on this data set so according to this algorithm what we have is we need to initialize our boundaries so we have s0 so we have 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 different instances so we have 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 then we have g0 that is general so general we represent by question mark 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 yes now what we need to do is we'll just consider the very first sample so our very first sample is positive so what we do is in the very first iteration for the very first sample we'll uh, just make the changes only to our specific boundary so this is the same like the finders so whenever you encounter a positive example you change the fees here so you have s1 is equal to you have sunny i'll just represent in a shorthand way s then you have warm then you have high then you have strong cool and change uh, your g1 in this case remains the same so this is simple like the finders algorithm we did next what you have is your negative example so whenever you encounter negative example you have to move from more generalized to more specific hypothesis so your s2 that remains the same which was there from your s1 now in g2 how will you change this so you have the first attribute value as rainy but here it is sunny so whenever there is a change which is seen or as a disagreement between the att attribute values you need to replace this one so by looking at this specific hypothesis you will make it more general so you put the first attribute value as it is and the rest one one two three four five so you make it more general in this way now similarly when you look at the second value that is cold here in this case you have warm or windy so that also you need to change so it will be w 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 then you have high so that is same so you need not do any changes then you have strong then you have warm here but here you have a cool so again you need to change this so you will have 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 and at the fifth place you will have c and finally this so for each you are uh, being more generalized so now 
each and every iteration now this suggests that it should always be this cool but you should not have any other value here now the final attribute that is changed it remains the same here so that completes our second iteration now in the third iteration what we have is s3 so which is a positive example so we'll do changes only in our uh, s2 and we will not touch our g2 so we have sunny here so that remains the same sunny then you have warm so that is okay then you have high which is okay then you have strong that is okay here you have warm but what you did is here you have a cool that is you made it as uh, changed so in your g2 you have a hypothesis which you moved from general to specific so but here what you have is you have a disagreement between these values and then you have from uh, same to change now how will your uh, g3 affects by this now if you just look into your g2 so in the previous iteration what you said is uh, you have to make it more specific so you just replaced this with all c's but here in this you have a question mark so now there is a contradiction between this and this so what do you do is you just discard this particular thing in this iteration now your s3 will only be this much similarly in the fourth iteration what you have is s4 so again you have the sunny then you have warm now here you have normal but here you have high so there you put a question mark which is a disagreement then you have strong then the rest two are question mark and question mark now your g3 remains same so you have 1 2 3 4 and 5 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so this will be our uh, final termination point where you have your final s4 and g3 according to this uh, candidate elimination algorithm so the bottom line is that whenever you encounter a negative example only then you will change your general hypothesis but when you encounter your positive example there you need to change your specific hypothesis and it can also happen that due to a contradiction in between these two your uh, general hypothesis or one particular set of general hypothesis you need to eliminate so that's where this candidate elimination word comes into picture so you will remove uh, one particular uh, set of hypothesis from your general boundary now this particular algorithm is uh, very much sensitive to noise so if there are some any uh, training errors which are there in the sample so this will poorly perform so that was also a case for find us algorithm and so this is also no exception but it will uh, converge to the target concept provided you have all your training samples or examples in a consistent way and if there are some missing values on errors uh, in your training sample then it will just converge to some empty version space so where you have just your hypothesis and then you have your version space with respect to h and d but you won't have any uh, samples here so it will be empty so that's meaningless uh, by doing the candidate elimination so well that was all regarding the candidate elimination algorithm in concept learning so hope you guys enjoyed this video found your as you watch this video please do like share comment and if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing thank you very much for watching this video